Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have got another festive jumper on today because although it is the end of October, uh, you should be watching this in December as part of my Vlogmas countdown to Christmas. And today we are doing my second update for my 12 Pans of Christmas project pan. I will start with the makeup items and first of all I have got my MAC Lingering Brow Pencil. And I have reduced this like quite a, a fair amount so I will show you obviously in the cutaway the start versus now but this is now what is left. Um, so I've got another two months to go and looking at what I used last month, if I use that again this month, um, I will have less than that left for month three so I do think it's going to be done within the project which I'm really really happy about. My Rare Beauty primer has come up quite a considerable amount so I at first marked this at the top because I thought it was going to go down but as soon as I started using it I realised it's actually one that's going to go up from the bottom. Um, which is actually better because I feel like you get much less product waste there. So this is where we're up to. So looking at that, if that was one month's use, I feel like this could actually be done by the next update, which I would really, really like. Get one more mini that I've already used a little bit of that I could maybe get out in December if I manage to finish this one in November. So it would be really good to actually manage to get two out before the end of the year. Uh, this one and another one. So we'll see if I manage that or not, but definitely this one, clearly this will be done well within the project and finger crossed by the next update. The other primer that I put into the project was the Essie Lauder primer and I said, you know, sold. I didn't really want to put it on my face anymore, but I was putting it in and if I was going to events and things, I was going to use it on my legs. My friend actually got married in October and I took this to the wedding, used it on my legs and I had to cut it open to get into it. Um, so I only had a little bit left and after that I used it the next weekend and that was the end of it. So really, really pleased to say that this is actually empty by update one. Because it is such a short term project pan, I'm not going to roll anything in in its place. I'm just so glad that this is finally done. I've had this for so long, it has been in other project pans. It just needed to leave my collection, but I knew there was so little left. I was like, I'm not decluttering it, I want to use it. Finally have managed to do so. It's completely empty and I can put this into my empties now, which I am so glad about. So really excited that this has left my collection for good now. The next product to update you on is my foundation stick. So this came down a fair amount. Basically this is really quite white, so this is the shade Blanc. It is the palest shade and I am really pale, but I feel like this is very sort of chalk white rather than like, although my neck is quite white. Uh, you can actually see I've taken my powder to my neck so you can see my kind of real white versus my neck as such. It's just not quite the right match on its own. So I have been using this more as a concealer. I've also got a foundation in my main 2023 project pan. and um, So I've been basically using that one as my base still and then using this one as a concealer like under my eyes, through my chin and a little bit just kind of down my nose to bring that sort of lightness to those areas. Usually because I am really pale, like even the sort of palest concealer doesn't really add that for my skin the way that it would for other people. Um, so it's actually been quite nice to be able to do that a little bit. And the foundation has come down a sort of fair amount. I'm clearly not going to finish this within three months or anything like that, or another two months because we're a month into it. Um, but I am just glad to be getting some use out of it and getting to know the product better. So pleased with that progress. The last makeup item that is in this project is my highlight. So I am hoping to hit pan in this. No pan yet, but I can definitely see, but I, could, I said this at the intro to be fair, 
Um, I can definitely see like the outline of the waffle pan underneath here. So I feel like it can't be that far away. Um, I don't want to tempt fate though because if you've watched my main 2023 project pan, you'll know the hourglass blush I've been working on all year and it's taken until October's update to actually see any kind of visual change in it. So I don't know, but I did have this in my project pan all of last year. I'm hoping a year and then three months at the end of this year concentrating on it should, should be enough to hit pan. Fingers crossed, theoretically. So we'll continue using it and see, but I don't know. I'm now, I'm now not feeling the most confident about it, but I feel like logically it makes sense that I should hit pan. So we'll see if that happens or not. On to my perfume set that I am using up. So I have got three perfumes in this. So the first is Eau de Cashmere. So I have used quite a chunk of this actually and there is just the tiniest sliver of this left. So that's the one that I probably have enjoyed the most out of the three. The second is Eau de Lee. So again, I've used quite a chunk of this and I've taken this down to being on this label, which I'm really, really pleased about. That was kind of my mini goal that I had set for myself was that I would get the two that had more in them, which was Eau de Lee and Eau de Lingerie at the intro down to kind of the label point for the first update. And again, I have just about managed that with Eau de Lingerie. And um, this is probably the one that I like second most after Eau de Cashmere. I don't dislike any of them. They're not really strong scents. They're kind of, they're like skin scents. You couldn't, there's not enough of them to dislike as such. But Eau de Lee is probably the one that I like the least. So I am going to aim to finish this one through November. So I'm hoping by the next update, this one will be completely empty. Theoretically, it would be nice to finish Eau de Cashmere as well so that I went into December only with Eau de Lingerie left. items I put this little cleanser in so the opening weight of this was 41 grams and I thought if I did 15 grams for each of the first two months then that left me 11 grams to finish in December and um, but I actually smashed that so I have now got 19 grams left in this so that obviously includes packaging as well so I definitely think I could actually have this finished by the end of November which would be excellent this was brand new when I put it into the project but I did have another sort of travel size cleanser that I was working on and um, so kind of similarly to the concealer if I can knock this one out by the end of the next update I'm hoping then to go back to that other the Eve Long one and might actually manage to get both of them out by the end of the year we shall see. I'm not going to be heartbroken if I don't get the other one out. I definitely just mainly want to get this one out, but I feel really confident that I'll manage to do that within the project, no problem. Now, my Lush Bar looks very different to the intro. If I'm honest, this is partly why I actually don't love using these, because as soon as you start using them, they start breaking up. So. You start with one solid bar and then you end up with like all these little bitty pieces and I find that quite irritating to work with um, but it is still quite a significant reduction so overall I'm really happy I just really want this out of my collection I don't love these for this exact reason they just become footery and awkward to deal with introduction this was 49 grams so i think i'd said if i used 17 grams per month that would get it finished by the end of the project but i've actually used way more than that so this weighs 20 grams now so if i used 29 grams last month i am hoping then that it is realistic to finish this by the next update but if i don't finish it by the next update then it's i will certainly finish it within the project so I'm not worried, this will be leaving my collection and I will be very happy to see the back of it.
The other sort of non-facial skincare item that I have is my hand cream. So this was 33 grams at the last update. It is now down to 21 grams. Now that sounds like quite a lot left, but I think this packaging will be quite heavy. I feel like I really am down to the end of this, so I definitely expect this to be done by the next update. I'm almost a little bit sad because it is like a proper Christmassy one, so I feel like I finished it earlier than would have been ideal. But yeah, I definitely think I'll finish it by the next update and it'll be nice to have another empty for my November empties. On to my facial skincare. I've got this Origin spray. So I said like I knew I wasn't going to finish this within the project and this is how much I've used in the first month. So I think this will just be interesting for me to monitor over the next two months, see how much I use of it. And then I'm thinking I might put it in my project pan next year just to get rid of it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It's not a very elegant mist. It's quite aggressive. It really sort of spurts itself at your face, um, you know, and you end up quite wet with it. It's not like a nice fine sort of hydrating mist. I'm not, not in love with it, but I don't, I don't hate it enough to just declutter it. I would like to get it used up. So I'll see over this project what three months worth of usage looks like. And then I can kind of assess, do I want to put it in a year long project pan next year? Or do I think like I could maybe finish it up in a shorter term project? Um, so yeah, we shall see. The second to last product is my retinol. So I'm actually really pleased. So I've taken that down from here to here. I wasn't 100% sure that it was realistic to expect to finish this within the project, but looking at that as one month's use, I feel like I definitely should be able to finish it within the project without too much bother. Really enjoyed using this. I've not had any redness, any flaking, any kind of reaction. So this is the Medicaid Retinol 3TR Plus Intense Supercharged 0.3 Vitamin A. So yeah, I have enjoyed using this and hope to finish it within the project. And the last product that I've got is my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I feel like because it's white in a white tub, you're not really seeing any visual change here. So I did weigh this one as well. So this started at 91 grams. It is now down to 74 grams. So if I had started at 91, I really needed to be using like 30 grams a month to finish it within the project, which is my hope. So I've obviously used slightly less than that, but I am hoping, given that I used more of the Lush Bar than I expected to, and I'm hoping to get that out by the end of next month, that through kind of November and December, I'll be able to be using this kind of down my chest and things a little bit more than I was making an effort to in the last month. I planned to do that with it, but... I sort of ended up not really doing that so much. I used the Lush one more all over. So yeah, I'm hoping once the Lush one leaves, I'll be using more of this. So fingers crossed, I'd still like to try and finish this within the project. If I don't, I'm sure I'll finish a significant enough amount of it that it'll be finished early next year. But I would just like to, to just get it knocked out before the end of the year. So, so fingers crossed, that's what we're aiming for. Anyway, that is everything for this update. So thank you very much for watching it. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you like Project Pan content on the end card, I will link up my playlist from last year that has my 2022 main Project Pan, my 13 by Halloween and my 12 pans of Christmas all in one big chronological list. So I will link that up in the end card and you can go have a watch of it and indulge yourself in more Project Pan content if that's what you're in the mood for. Thank you very much for watching this one and I will see you in my next video. Bye!